All right, so one of the problems with running old stuff all the time is things are constantly going wrong and constantly finding new and improved ways to modify, fix, and sometimes you have to fabricate your own tools. So uh, the problem we're having today is my son's 2001 Yamaha Breeze. The uh, brake drum is actually stuck on here. Um, I've tried everything, you know, hitting it with croil, mallets, you name it. So um, well, I, I've seen other videos. Uh, people that have the wheels that have the holes around them are able to just take, you know, your standard gear puller and hook it in the holes bolt the wheel on and pull everything out. Unfortunately, this wheel only has four holes for the lugs, so that ain't going to work. So what we got, um, we have a steering wheel puller. I just got some 3 8 inch uh, nuts and bolts from Homey Depot and just some uh, quarter inch bar stock I randomly had laying around. So we're going to take two pieces. Uh, these are about four and a half inches long. Um, just make sure it's long enough to drill a hole. If you drill two holes, they'll slide over these lugs. Um, and we're just going to kind of try to make our own little contraption to pull this bad boy off and see if it works. All right, so we're about two and three eighths center to center. And the uh, bolts just fit through like that. We're going to drill two more holes. So it'll go through like that and I can bolt this plate on there. All right, so all the holes are drilled. We just need to grind out a little notch here to clear the bearing. All right, so this is where we're at after all the cutting and grinding and drilling and all that fun stuff. So let's see if it fits. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, so just use the... Uh, look you know the lug nuts get it on like that with the bolts going through and just slide the puller on there and we're going to bolt it up and see if it pops off Voila, there it is. Now, uh, even, I mean, th this is putting a pretty massive amount of torque on this drum, and that sucker was froze on there. Um, there were, it was spinning freely uh, with the <clears throat> brake pads disengaged, so I'm imagining most of the resistance I was getting was coming from the bearing that was uh, around this part here. So what I did... I hit it with uh, aero coil uh, two nights in a row, let that all seep in, and um, I would just, you know, as I'd, I'd crank a little bit with the <clears throat> the socket, pound it around 360 degrees with the hammer, crank it a little more, pound it around 360 degrees, uh, and just multiple doses of coil, and it eventually worked its way off. So that's how we did it. Our only casualty was uh, in my moment of frustration the other night. There's a little tab underneath of here that looked like you get a screwdriver and get a little leverage on and I pried it and broke it off. So I'm just going to order a new part for it or try to possibly weld this one back on. I don't know, but um, this part around here is uh, very fragile and will crack very easily. So don't don't try to pry it or do anything stupid. If, it, if it's not coming off easily, this definitely won't work trying to pry it. Anyway. That's it, and we're uh, going to put some new pads in here and patch this up and off to the other side, and hopefully off to the trail soon. Good night. Cheers.